just first to say hello uh, to our next uh, uh, presenter, um, uh, to uh, Erdin Schilkaya, uh, almost. Uh, <laughs> uh, sorry for the pronunciation. I. Uh, <laughs> Um, uh, so I'm very happy that you're here, uh, that you join us uh, for, for today. Uh, you are authorized manager of new mobility ecosystem and exceptional tasks from the Bertrand Group. Um, uh, yeah, uh, I, uh, you had uh, an exchange of ideas uh, a few weeks ago uh, with my colleague Valeria Meyer, and she was very enthusiastic uh, afterwards and said, ah, we have to invite him uh, uh, for our Hannover stream. Uh, so I'm happy uh, to get to know you and uh, uh, to uh, uh, listen to your presentation uh, uh, today. Uh, yeah, a few words uh, uh, to our viewers. Um, uh, to your person, uh, you have uh, a large, uh, uh, yeah, almost uh, yeah, 19 or almost 20 years automotive research and development experience, uh, over 219 different projects. Uh, you worked for more than six global player companies uh, in the OEM sector, tier one sector. So you bring a lot of uh, experiences uh, uh, with you. Um, uh, so, uh, at the moment, you are very much focusing on, yeah, uh, yeah, special tasks, municipalities, existing small uh, and big companies, startups. Um, uh, yeah, you support them as a, a lecturer, as a mentor, as a coach. Uh, you are a jury member in, in, in some ways. And um, yeah, um, of course, uh, yeah, you have a broad experience. You have a broad field uh, of work. So we are really happy to have you here uh, at first to listen to your presentation. Uh, and then afterwards, uh, we take all the questions from the viewers in the discussion. So uh, the floor is yours. I'm uh, uh, happy to hear your presentation. Thank you. Thank you for the introduction. Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to my uh, part uh, with, uh, I will say, maybe uh, a short overview. I will, I will give you a short overview about um, the Shaper Enabler Provider Principle. And uh, don't lose time. Let's start. What I, what I like to tell you is uh, uh, what we are recognizing the last few years, not months, years, and the duration of fast changing world. We, were, we, we stormed about this, what happens in the world. Then we come into forming the situation about the last and what is in the next. And, uh, then we said, how could we perform with our USPs we have in Baden-Württemberg and also in our company? And the last thing is, um, we like to expand um, in the world's market to be honor of Baden-Württemberg's company and, and uh, take that to design the future together uh, with Baden-Württemberg of mobility. First of all, I will say, what, what did we recognize? Um, we recognized that we have a changing culture, for example. The new generation X, Epsilon Z, however you call them, and analyze them. In general, no one or not everyone more likes to have one car. They like to have mobility. And therefore, these hashtag mobility is uh, really um, common and every day's word we use or also in our company and in our doing today. And this lends me or brings me to the situation to have these exceptional tasks to analyze the market for the future and what could we do with them. I think the main thing here is everyone likes to be mobile but don't earn or buy a car. And they like to spend $250 per month for that and they like on demand and they like uh, entertainment and they like music streaming and so on. The second thing what we analyzed is that mobility as a service is a high potential market for the future and there are some uh, different statistics uh, from uh, uh, common good analysis companies. And the second thing is autonomous driving and the connectivity be between both. 
Then we recognize that there is a technological improvement. Um, that means with that technological improvement, you have no new use cases. With that use cases, you have the possibility, ability, if you do it right, uh, to design your future of your company. Nevertheless, it's a startup or it's a small, medium enterprise or it's a big company like we have a lot of in Baden-Württemberg. So different use cases based on new technologies. We recognized, again, by a different statistic that there are three main topics we have. Uh, I already told you. And the third topic, the uh, technology, we, um, we adapted enabling technology in front of them. And the enabling technologies are products who are now common in our all day um, present. And if you recognize all these things, then you have to storm. You have to storm, what could we do with that potential? And after our storming, we had a huge ecosystem, um, business ecosystem or use case ecosystem founded and every company in the world or in Baden-Württemberg or in your region has maybe a role inside these topics, inside these network. So what we say, the new thing is that they are related together, that they're connected together. And therefore I use especially the uh, word of ecosystem. That means if you do your job well, but the other one not, he couldn't use your well done jobs. So that means you have to interact and work together. That is what we, um, as a result, as uh, uh, after our storming. In the third part, by forming, we said, what must we do to secure our future of our company and employees? and also what for benefits we could do for our customers, also for our clients. First of all, uh, you start with the organization. We looked into Bertrand in that case and say, we are a decentral company in 50 locations over the world and everybody or every location maybe does the same thing. So the first thing is to switch the organization from decentral company to a competence company, focus company by centralization. That means the first thing is organizational thing. And this we put into a so-called project matrix organization or unit organization. The second thing about the storm, uh, about the forming is uh, where do we see, especially oriented on our USPs and on our competences and on our know-how inside the company and next to us, our clients and su suppliers um, and customers? That means we made a uh, business analysis first at Bertrand, like SWOT technologies, you know that, uh, where we have the more uh, opportunities for the future in which area uh, we should focus on. And the result of that forming is that we matched our classic portfolio to the new portfolio, what is needed, and prioritize that, that. And not end with that, also we said which unit is in which area focused on. So we like to increase our efficiency and effectivity by doing our work with more than 12,000 engineers around the world focused on the target and on the goals of the market of the future. Then, next forming step was, what is our, what is our role? What is, what is the new role um, situation? And we say we have a shaper, that is the customer, client, maybe one OM or tier one, but nowadays it could be also a government, uh, SMA, or a startup also. The second thing is uh, you have provider, 
That means they have some products or something like that or services already. But what is missing? Missing is one leading a neutral company maybe with the experience and know-how to put them together to a new business role or model for the future. And that we call, this is the enabler role, and that is that what we have uh, on our headlight. At the, at the end, you have to detail that which role brings what with which process and what is the result of them uh, at the end. The shaper, also called the client, he brings the use cases, he, he brings the needs. The provider brings products, hardware, software, services, after sales, workshops, and so on. And the new role of Bertrand maybe as a development partner, and not just an engineering company, is maybe the bridge between both to put that uh, services and needs together with focus on high tech by digitalization, by autonomous driving, by connectivity, by electricity, and also hydrogen. And not but not least, digitalization, of course. If you have a huge world of um, ecosystem partners, or your company is huge, then you have to put, it, put that uh, in some clusters, I call. And that is the microeconomic situation of yours. In that case, I have here an example. This is also individual about your topics, of course. But with that, you have a one picture about your ecosystem, and that is needed if you do some complex and high-end and new future-based technology projects. Because I'm really, I think no one could do high-tech development for the future by his own. The next thing to perform is uh, where are, is our USP? To focus on that more, to have more efficiency. And uh, maybe Bertrand is known as a company for uh, automotive development, uh, especially. And uh, in that case, uh, we moved around this mobility situation. Uh, our portfolio focused more on the portfolio and detailed it. Then also with that now how we have, we say we make a suggestion about the common platform in context of uh, software driven architecture, for example, or safety architectures or safety future of autonomous driving or mobility concepts in general. So with our know-how, we had um, uh, categorized the architecture in the car and outside of the car um, with uh, some specific topics where we are expert in. Then we also thought about the performing what could our new services uh, in digital context with the new technologies. And there are uh, huge types of uh, products or services or development things, prototypings that may be actually existing but not, not existing in that case or uh, not as existing, so you have to develop that maybe for, before you make a research by using universities uh, from your region, and so you get connected with them, and also you could put them as maybe new employers to your projects after doing some master thesis, bachelor's, or uh, project work. The last thing is, if you make all these homework, I will say, in our case, it took more than three years now, then you could also uh, look into your future and say, okay, I did my homework in a region or regional or in Germany. How could I expand my portfolio, my network? And uh, so that means maybe you also look to startups or spin-off or uh, spin-offs or SMEs in your region and put them into your projects and um, help them to grow, for example. And uh, there in this slide, you see a lot of ecosystems by companies or technological uh, uh, topics 
and um, there is no end about your own uh, ecosystem, but I'm sure you have to use uh, companies in front of you, behind you, and next to you, maybe also your competitors, uh, to be able to solve the future's need. At the end, you have your own macroeconomics. That means your uh, public relation to the upper side, to outside, which is, uh, which is which depends on political things, what happens, actually COVID topics, we have uh, globality, locality, uh, new generation, uh, crisis there, um, economical crisis, of course. Then you have your traditional work where you be successful the last years. Then you have a market which defines your prices or acceptance of your products and services. And then you now have maybe a new business model for you regarding your classic topics and the new topics. And maybe also a new role defined by you. And therefore, at the end, I will ask you, what is your next step for transformation? Thank you. Thank you very much. Uh, uh, very interesting, uh, especially, uh, uh, I call it the ecosystem approach, uh, which is, of course, uh, yeah, Immobile DBW understands itself as a network agency. So uh, uh, I think we, we agree in, 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 in this point. So um, yeah, I think we are uh, almost out of time. We have a lot of things to discuss later on. So for, for this mom uh, moment, thank you very much, uh, Edin Shilkaya. Uh, we see each other again in a few minutes.